Well, today could be the day that we find out when masks could be a thing of the past for people in Marion County. Cities and counties across the state making changes after the CDC came out with those new guidelines for people who are vaccinated. So the big question, could Indianapolis be next? This morning it's expected to be a big topic of discussion among local health care leaders. Karen is live to break it all down this morning and uh, fingers crossed for a lot of people. Yeah, because we've been wearing these masks ever since COVID made an appearance here, right? More than a year. So Dr. Virginia Kane said that uh, local health leaders will review that CDC guidance and local vaccination rates before recommending uh, any changes to the current restrictions that are in place. And uh, they are going to make some kind of announcement today at 10 o'clock later this morning. So Will we have it? Will we not? We know that after the CDC said fully vaccinated people do not need to wear a mask or socially distant, uh, except of course where required by federal, state and local regulation. Counties like Monroe and St. Joseph's, they followed suit. Now, if you remember, go the governor uh, lifted restrictions uh, here for the state back, in, back on April 6th, but Marion County did not. And Mayor Hawk said and Dr. Kane have said, although vaccinations were increasing, there was no rush to ease restrictions. Now, county health leaders noted that in order to do so, among the things that must happen, the average positivity rate must stay below 5% for at least two weeks with fewer than 35 cases per day. And as of Tuesday, the seven day positivity rate in the county, it sits at 5.8%. Now doctors we spoke with said keeping masks on will help in the fight against COVID. Take a listen. If I were to ask anyone in Indiana for any one thing for the fight against COVID, it would be to go out and get a shot or two, depending on which one you get, because that's clearly the, the way to end this problem. Um, they're just incredibly effective. They're incredibly safe. Now, Dr. Paul Calkin says that not any, not everyone is comfortable with taking their masks off. He said you don't have to be, you can keep it on. Uh, now, we know that uh, more than 2 million Hoosiers are now fully vaccinated, and a lot of people are hoping that that will help Marion County leaders when they make their announcement later this morning about if masks will be a thing of the past. Back to you. Yeah, and Karen, despite those COVID numbers going down and the new mask guidance from the CDC, some people are not ready to jump back into that normal way of living. Nearly 50% aren't ready to break that six feet apart rule just yet. After 15 months of pandemic living, people aren't ready to return to their formal life. A data research firm pulled 3,000 people to find out how they felt about going to large sporting events or traveling to normal, returning to normal travel. 58% says that they would hop on a plane now, but 49% say they want to wait a few more months before rubbing elbows with other people. Some people are, oh, you know, the numbers are down. It, they will go back up if we don't continue to properly social distance. Well, people understand that social distancing works and so more people are going to continue doing that. But no matter what is decided, experts say do not bow to public pressure. Do what's best for you and your family.